Today I'm working on a capacity yard truck. It's from the 90s though, I'm not exactly sure what year. The issue with this one is that the brakes won't release. So right now I've got it in drive and the air tanks are full. I'm releasing the spring brakes, but even with everything released, I can't move this thing. If I really floored it, I can get it to budge a little bit, but you can feel that the brakes are still dragging. There's also an audible air leak. It might be hard to hear in the video, but it's coming from right around underneath the cab. To start the diagnosis, I'm going to hook up shop air to the system. I don't want to keep starting the truck to just to build air pressure, release the brakes and repeat. This way I can keep air system charged while I hunt down the leak. With shop air supplied, I can now focus on tracing the source. After a quick check, I find that the leak is coming from the exhaust port of the treadle valve. That's our foot brake valve. Now, here's something important. When you're dealing with an air brake valve that's leaking, always start by checking the delivery ports. You want to make sure that nothing is back feeding into the valve because if it, there's air coming back into the valve from the delivery side, it's going to just get dumped out the exhaust. In this case, I can see that the green air line, which runs to the rear service brakes, is back feeding. There's pressure coming out of it, so of course the treadle valve is going to be exhausting that pressure. It's just doing its job. If you're working with rubber airlines and you're careful not to damage them, you can pinch these off with a clamp to isolate that system. Now we need to find where that pressure on the service line is coming from. When all I did was release the spring brakes, there shouldn't be any service brake pressure unless I actually am pressing the pedal. So I trace that green air line and it runs to a bulkhead fitting in the front of the cab and comes right back out. No valves there. Then it runs down the side of the truck, connects to a quick release valve in the back for the service brakes, and then it tees into a QR1C valve for the spring brakes. Because the spring brake valve has a service line going to it, we know that uh, also functions as an anti-compounding valve. That's job is to prevent the spring brakes and the service brakes from being applied at the same time, which would bend the push rods or damage something. It does that by using the service brake pressure to proportionally release the spring brakes. That means that air should be flowing to the valve and not out of it through that balance port. In our case, we're seeing air back feeding from the service brake side of that QR1C valve into the service line. And that's what's leaking out of the treadle valve exhaust. If we pull up a data sheet on this QR1C valve, it confirms that in the spring brake release position, there should be no air flowing through that balance port. So we know that this valve is leaking internally and it needs to be replaced. Another common source of back feeding is when the spring brake diaphragm leaks through to the service side. So when the spring brakes are released, you'll have pressure coming up through the service line. And a tip to catch this is to slightly kink the service brake hose in your hand coming out of the spring brake chamber. And if there's air flowing through it, you can usually feel a slight vibration. And one last tip for diagnosing air brake valves is to listen for what should be happening. If we remember from the beginning of the video, when I was trying to move the vehicle. When I first released the service brakes, you might have noticed that we didn't hear that familiar burst of air when the valve exhausts. That suggests that the service brakes may not have been receiving air, or in our case, it just doesn't stop receiving air.